Welcome everybody, welcome. We are preparing to groom a matted doodle. Come on in, have a seat, and let me get ready. She's outside right now walking her pet. So exercise is definitely needed in this particular case. Let me check on a couple things as we prepare to get ready for her groom. everyone doing today? I always got these matted doodles, man. Matted doodles is like every doodle is usually matted at some point in their life. Everyone, including mine, including just having, if you pet your dog every day, man, my girl doodle, the top of her head, I need to keep it short because I'll be, I'll be petting her, petting her, petting her, and I'll be like, wow, she's, her hair is super curly too, man. You gotta brush them every day. If you can't brush them every day, no joke. You can't even miss a day. If you miss a day, it's a bad day the next day. And you miss it, brushing a doodle, damn. It can get matted and then it's a bad day. It starts raining and then you're like, oh gosh, you know, I didn't brush you yesterday. Now you got wet in the rain while you ran around out there partying in the rain trying to clean up. Woo -wee! Such a bad day when they get matted. And you don't wanna bathe the matted dog. So then this, this female doodle, this female doodle is over a year old or a year and a half old now and has never been groomed, which means, and it doesn't look like they're brushing either, but it's funny because something had to have happened at some point because her hair is kind of short compared to what my doodle looked like full grown, my female doodle or my boy doodle. Before I did a haircut, they had long hair. I have a few shorts on the My Favorite Groomer YouTube channel that you can see female doodles just a puffball, like cotton, you know, cotton cloud, you know. Yeah, you gotta brush these doodles. I'm walking around breathing, deep breaths in, getting ready, getting ready to prepare my mind for grooming an aggressive, potentially aggressive, only because aggressive meaning she's never been groomed before. So she's gonna come in with some serious matting. Then you have to think of it like she may, it may be painful. You know how some dogs react to pain different than others, just like you and I react to pain differently. Some of us can, some of us can actually with tolerate some pain, right? Some of us can tolerate it, but some of us can't. Mm-hmm. How many of you guys can tolerate somebody rubbing on your feet over and over and over? And then some of y'all like get off. Do not touch my feet, don't touch my armpits, don't do nothing, it's gonna make me upset. How many of you guys out there do that? Who can tolerate it and who can't? Comment on the live feed right there or comment down below if, if you're catching this off of the live feed. I required them and when I went out there just now, the way I approached the animal, I decided that I wanted her to walk and I kind of decided already over the phone because she'd never been groomed before. So I said, I need you to do 30, minutes walking outside so when i got out there she was doing like a leisure walk and i said okay you can do this leisure walk you know when someone's walking like this right you know what that leisure walk is i said you could do that leisure walk to get her to pee and poop but what i need you to do is get her right right here right next to you boom and we are walking boom walk I need you to walk around my building for 30 minutes and get that energy she has pent up out. Because when I came up like that, she was like, so I know she is, this is new to her, and she got energy built up. Dogs that are big dogs, you need to take the time to invest in their health and well-being. Please walk your dogs. Please take the time to take your dog for a walk. If you can make that time every day, if you can't, if you can afford someone to do it for you, if you can get a treadmill or if you can walk, You've got to walk inside your house. You've got to make time for the animals that you love, really. If you can't afford it and you can't make time, you're working two or three jobs, ask someone.
someone for help. Ask someone for help. No one knows you need help unless you ask. If you don't ask, no one knows you're suffering. Okay? I'm spraying this, but I ain't trying to brush anybody. I really am not. I'm going to hang it back up. I'm not trying to brush that dog. She is mad at And I, I'm looking at her ears like, oh, Lord Jesus. Lordy, 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 Lord, Jesus, help me. I'm being real. I'll be talking to God all day, all day, preparing my mind for aggressive dog grooming. And I, man, I say it. I say it. This dog should not be aggressive. But what happens with a mad dog is that you don't know how they're going to be, do you? We don't know how they're going to be sometimes, do we? No, we don't. We don't know how they're going to be. Someone might say, well, how much is it going to be? And I'm like, I never even met y'all before, never even touched your dog before. I Honestly, I could give you a range, but I have no idea. I have no idea of the exact price until at least you come in the first time, one time. You call a plumber and say, hey, I need you to come out here and fix this drain. Okay, well, a drain like that, it starts at $75, and the trip fee is $75, so that's your minimum right there. When we get out there, if you end up needing more parts, if it takes me longer, because you didn't tell me that there was something else in the way, there was a problem, or you didn't even know there was a problem in the way, like someone had to put the wrong thing in, and they got to take it apart, then all of a sudden that plumber's charging you $500, where the base price to change out a toilet was going to be $150. So... It's the same concept. It's like, how can we predict if we've never even seen it before? Never seen the toilet, never seen the doodle, never seen nothing. We don't, we can't, you can't. You can't. That's why with my hair girl, I started telling my hair girl, I was like, look, I want to come every two weeks so that it's maintaining my hair. That right there, when you're maintaining something, that's different. Because then they see you every two weeks, and she could probably tell me over the phone because she just saw me. She might be able to tell me, well, Dee, if we color your hair, I know how long your hair is. It's probably going to be X dollars. But if we color your hair, and it's really long hair, and I ain't seen you in four or five months, what if I need to use an additional product on your hair because it's not taking? What if it takes four more hours longer because it, it wouldn't sit? I had to use a different something, something because it, went, it fried your hair, and I have to start this all that adds on to the price of what you're paying. So no, nothing's ever exact. It can't be, you know. All right, we got our tools cleaned up. We're kind of me messing around here. Hey, my favorite dog dad. Been a minute, baby. Been a minute. Good to see you. All right, look, let me go get some devices here so I can be set up ready for, for the looking at what you guys are commenting closer. Oh my goodness, we are getting ready for this. We are getting ready, baby.
Okay, you guys. I'm getting ready. Let's get our, we are gonna need that. We might need our large dog up stand or our XL. So let's get those here placement. I'm gonna have those nearby here. Those two. And we're gonna put this baby right here. And let me go set up the lobby camera so the owner can see the work we're doing back here. And let me turn this on mute. You guys ready for this? I'm not really sure what you mean. I have just groomed a dog and so I have to clean my tools in between. All right, what are y'all picturing right now? What are y'all picturing after everything I just said? Are you guys picturing, what are you guys picturing here? This is a matted doodle. Go ahead, you guys wanna guess a color? 22 of you guys out there, what's up? Be sure to hit that sub, like, and share. Oh, I got this, I need to do this, close this out. Matted doodle, who wants to guess the color? Anybody out there wanna guess the color? I love guessing games. I don't know, these matted doodle folks, they always finding me. Valdinia Roche, Bo Boa Tarde. I have never seen your name on my live chat, so thank you for the sub, I appreciate that. Impossible Pup, what's up, miss you bro? Tracy Brown, you are awesome, this is the first time I made it to a live. Tracy Brown, what's up? Pookie Puppy, I miss you Pookie Puppy. I was wondering where you were at yesterday. Tinny Paget says, hello from Oklahoma. What's up, Oklahoma? Love you guys out there. Grandma D, welcome Tracy Brown. Appreciate you, Grandma D. Grandma D, I need to make you a moderator is what I need to do. My favorite dog dad. What you, Impossible Pup is my favorite dog dad. What are you doing? Uh, Grandma D says, Dee are killing. Okay, so Butterfly is gone now, uh, but I have her in my um, cabinet. My, him, my favorite dog dad says, Didi and Pookie Puppy, yeah, I've been trying to catch back up. It has been a minute. Thank you for coming back around. I am ready to game, so y'all get ready tonight or tomorrow. Jennifer McFadden, do you ever deal with dogs that lay down during grooming? Our big dog does. Yes, I do. Train your dog to stand up. Just like you train your dog to sit, train your dog to stand up the same way. You might be able to Google that. There's a bunch of trainers on Instagram that are awesome to watch. And if you need a dog up stand, hello, made in the USA, made in Texas, by the way, made in Texas, dogupstand.com. Get the large or extra large. Be sure to measure beforehand. We will see today if I need it with her. My favorite dog dad says, didn't have an aggressive dog now, just a difficult one because it was a little three-legged Pomsky, so balances. Oh, check this out. So I just did the three-legged bulldog. Uh, he, he was just here. Little Chickadee, that's a cute name. Hello, Dee Dee, how is the butterfly? visit from yesterday. I watched you and Max, he is a love bug, so gentle. He had an accident, he said he was sorry. Watching from the Northeast, Tennessee. What's up, baby? Jennifer McFadden, white for the color. Black or, okay, white, I was like, what you talking about now? I already passed that. White doodle, okay. White for the color as well, it's a little chickadee. Black or gold, y'all wrong so far. My favorite dog dad, red, wrong, white, wrong. Man, none of y'all even guessed that. I love guessing games. Anybody grew up playing Mad Libs? Go ahead, tell me, go ahead, tell me how old I am. Anybody play Mad Libs? All right, y'all raise your hand if you did, and let me check real quick. Hit that thumbs up for me, 20, 32 of you guys. Thumbs up, baby, there's only eight. <laughs> Boo. Merle or Brindle, A-A-K. How are you, AAK? I got a puppy here with your name on it, girl. Um, let me let me go check. Let me go check and see if she's listening to me. Let me go here, just a nap. What does a seizure or stroke in a cat look like? Girl, if you have to ask me, it already happened. No, haven't heard of that game before. Really? Mad Libs? It's not, it's on paper. Seizure or a stroke in a cat. Um, Google it. <laughs> But you're going to see quivering, shaking, screaming, yelling, vomiting, diarrhea, all that. Dana, and you're in, where are you in, Thailand? Girl, you need to go to the veterinarian right now if you're having th thoughts like that about your cat. 
All right, let's see what we got going on over here. Okay. Shut the door. She should be coming in any minute now. I want to say we're at like our 20 minutes. Do you guys have anything you guys want to talk about like for two minutes? <laughs> what's up, Tracy on Facebook? Hi, Facebook. What's up, Brenda? How you guys doing? What's up, Jerry? I'm going to take this is um, this product called Zip Fizz and it has no carbs. So or it has three carbs and vitamins in it. So it's um, put it in your water. It's pretty tasty and no sugar. You got two minutes. Two minutes per person. Yeah. AAK, so I wish I could take another puppy. I forgot, how many do you have in your household, AAK? We used to play Mad Libs in the bus on the way to mission trips in high school. Grandma D, what's up? I think Lilu had one of them a few weeks ago. Here's the thing about seizures, okay? So if you have an older cat or dog, sometimes seizures will start to happen. I think what I wanna say for a cat, a cat above the age of 13, cause they can live up to 31, or higher if you take really good care of your cat. And dogs above the age of five, uh, more so in the ages of seven through 10, I will see or hear or know of dogs that have seizures when they have health issues. Or how about this, as they just get older, they start to do these things, quivering, 
that give you what I have seen in my opinion. And <clears throat> sometimes they have seizures a lot and you're not there to see it. So it's always really smart with today's technology being super affordable that you can actually get a camera and so you can check in on your animals when you're not home. So when they lay there and sleep all day, especially when you have a senior dog, you're able to kind of see, is my dog having a seizure when I'm not around? Is my dog having a seizure when we're all sleeping? That happens a lot. Grandma D says, I have a Mad Libs app on my iPhone. No, you don't. I'm about to, I'm about to download that. Dana says, we played Mad Libs at work a few years ago during a blackout. Very cool. Tracy, hi. Tracy, if you're on Facebook and over here, you something else, girl. Did we get any more likes? Let me check the likes. How many likes did we get? Did you guys hit that thumbs up right there? 13 out of 38, y'all. Man, you doing, you, you, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Let me check and see if she's here if I heard her.
Emma. Come on, Emma. Come in. I know this is new to you. Yes, it is. This is super new. It's going to be new, all these sounds. Hey. Come on, baby girl. Come on, baby girl. What you got going on here, huh? Hey, you nervous? Yeah, well, let's not be nervous. I said the problem is I can't fix her nervousness in one hour, two, or three. So what we do have to do is work with her, right? And she's never been groomed before. So who knows what that might look like for us today. We're just going to try to do our best. And unfortunately, we have to take it all down to the skin like a summer haircut because it is pretty bad shape. So I'm going to talk, I'm going to walk, I'm going to make some noises, I'm going to do everything on purpose because she don't know what is going to happen and she needs to know some of these sounds as we get ready to get her shaved down. Okay? Come on, baby Emma. Do you think if I sit down here, you'll come over to me? Do you think you'll, you'll, come, do you think you'll come over to me? Or are you pretty nervous? She says she's pretty nervous. Would you, yeah, would you mind? Hi, oh, hi, really? Come here, Emma, come here. Come here, Emma. Hi, baby girl. Hi, come here. Come here. Look what I got. I got something over here. You want to smell something? Look what I got here. Why don't you come check this out? Look, Emma. Emma, look, come check it out. Come here. It's a cotton ball, but come check it out. Come here. Check this out. Come here. You don't want to check out the cotton ball. Okay, let me see if I got something else. You want to check out, um, look at this, look at this, my goggles. You want to look at my goggles? Emma, hi, girl. Oh, I'm not low enough for you. Okay, let me try this. You want me to come down to this level? Come here. Come here. Will you come here for me? Come here, Emma. She's laying in the corner. Why are you laying in the corner? Are you worried? A little worried about some stuff? Uh, yeah, I know what that feels like when you have to worry about stuff. You know, I, I hate going to the doctor myself. And if you lay down, I'm going to come get you. If you lay down, i got to come get you. When I go to the doctor as well, this is not the doctor, but when I do go to different places, I do get a little worried too. I really do. And unfortunately, I know what that feels like, but sometimes, you know, for the benefit of things that we have to do, that it's a must, we must do some things, then we have to go through some things that are tough at first, and then they have a really great ending, you know? Hi. Will you come here? Have you been taught to jump up yet? Here? your leash okay because we can hang out like this for hours but since I know I have a couple hours of work to do at least uh, maybe well, depending on how you behave I gotta make you come to me come. I don't want to argue with you I don't want to argue hi sit can you sit can you sit down come Really close to my face, huh? Come sit, sit with me. Come. You're behind me. Okay, you wanna go around? That's fine, you wanna come up? Can you come up? Did someone teach you how to jump up? Uh-huh. Okay. Will you jump up like my doodles? Will you jump up here with, like my doodles would? Hmm? Come on. What was that? Did you just release gas? Don't.
miss him. If you're comfortable enough to release gas, girl, we gonna have we should know each other well enough for you to jump up on this table, okay? You hear me? I'm not playing with you. You just you just pass gas up in my groom room, right? I'm gonna tell you right now, then you you should be able to jump up on the table for me. Come on, come on, come on. You got this. Come on, baby girl. You know how big you are? You know how big you are? You should be able to jump. Girl, you should be able to jump high. My doodle can jump up on one of those metal wire, metal wire, real wooden things. Okay, all right, all right, all right, come here. Sit. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. That's a good girl. So Miss Dee Dee's gonna have to shave you down, like head to toe, because your your ears are in insane shape right now. They're insane, like seriously. Whoa. You know what I'm saying? They are insane. Licking your lips, huh? Is that a, what's that mean, you guys? What's licking your lips mean? You want to get on the table with me? Come on, up, 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 come on, get up there, get up there, up, good girl, good girl, yes ma'am, everyone say good girl, everyone say good girl, right now, right in the live chat, give us some energy, some good energy, say good girl, Woo. that's a good girl, you do smell funky, I'll be honest with you, we gotta, we gotta handle that. You do, you do, girl. You smell funky monkey. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We're going to have to handle that, okay? How's that? How's that? Hmm? You think you're going to stay down like that for a minute? I'll shave your back and everything without you standing up first. I'll tell you right now, Mama's watching you right now, girl. Ooh, these are, ooh, ooh. Oh, heck no. Oh, no. This is bad. This is real, real, real bad. Emma. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is, mm. first thing I wanna do is actually start grooming her. So we're gonna come in this way, and what I mean is I wanna first shave her back. She doesn't, she's worried about that camera. I'm taking my time, I'm moving around, I'm making sounds, I'm adjusting, I'm moving my body, I'm spinning around, all these things to help her just feel me out. Could I rush it? Yes, I could. Would it be a bad day for her? It could be. It could turn into a bad day because I'm pushing her too hard to go fast or slow. She's not familiar with the sounds, so everything is really important on how I move and what I do. All right, and because I don't know her really well, I am going to throw a cone head on her. If you're just joining, please be sure to hit that like button for me. That really helps YouTube know that you guys are enjoying the content. As we go through the groom, I would love for you to comment in the live chat how it makes you feel, what you see, what you're thinking. Okay? As many of you have seen, as we go into shaving her ears down, when you are hairy, and you become fresh because everything got shaved off, you will feel air. And when you feel air, you are gonna itch, shake, move, and you are gonna maybe irritate what there is not a problem being irrita irritating. No, hup, hup, hup. No ma'am, no ma'am. No, ma'am, you can lay down if you want. I was going to let you lay down, all right? I was going to let you lay down, okay? 
I'm doing this just in case I start getting started and you don't like something, okay? I need you to know that I have to get these mats off and I'm gonna let you do what you wanna do, all right? But, she's looking at me, but I, I don't know how you're gonna behave once I start really working with some of these problems. And I've done a lot of mad doodles that are matted. So bear with me as I put these cone heads on you just for some safety, okay? I'm using is Anna's 5P with this 10 ceramic. So you can get them at myfavoritegroomer.com. Thanks for joining us. Check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. Also hit that like button, subscribe. You can write down in the live chat, how does this make you feel while you're watching it? And do you know what she might be going through or do you know what I might be going through? Write it in the live chat or comment below. Today is April 27, 2023. Baby, 
Her name's Emma. She has never been groomed. She's about a year and a half old, and we're guessing. What's going to be crazy is coming down into her leg. I'm wondering how that's going to go. So all, the, all these legs, that's going to be the tough part right there. That's always the tough part. Um, I'm actually going down the leg right now, man. That's awesome. Poor elbow right here. Okay, I'm going to angle her different so that I'm not hurting my back too much, but I was trying to get that a little bit, but i got to change it up. And as we come into this, I need to raise her up. So I need to position myself. Let's come over here and do a little something, something on her chest then. Not even see the skin here. I can't tell if that's skin or a mat or what. So you could easily fall back off here. So we'll move you forward. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Bear with me now. Good girl. She can jump up and bite my face if she wanted to. This is super loose. It's a 24 inch groom loop. Always have both the, four, the 18 and the 24 just in case you have to give them that space. Which I'm giving her a lot of wiggle room.
And just honestly looking at her wrinkles, I would say she looks like she's had puppies already. But I am not a professional nipper looker. And I don't know, I'm not sure 100%. And Pete, thank you so much. Woohoo! 52 watches out there. Be sure to hit that like button for me. Subscribe, share the video, tell your doodle owners to brush their doodles. Especially before bathing your doodle, you need to be able to, this one lady I talked to the other day, and I said, if you can't run a comb through that hair, look, if I can't bring that comb through the hair, you're doing something wrong. You need to be able to bring that comb through from the skin out. Skin out. If you can't, that's matted. You need to brush more or brush right or get the right tools to do the job to get those mats out. If we would have caught this earlier, then we could have saved it. And some people probably would save her. It would probably take a few days of dematting and like maybe a week. Oh, I would never do that. I don't want you to do that to your dog. You know, she can't speak for herself. She can't say anything about it. This is like not her fault. If I had hair doing this, you better do something with my hair. You, you better, we need to do something with my hair. If it's looking like this, if it's snappy like that, you need to help me take care of that, okay? You got to do something about it. I'm not gonna walk around with my hair looking like that. Unless I wake up in the middle of the night and I have to come do puppies at three in the morning, that's happened. But I got really short hair now, I kinda don't care. And if you happen to see a dog like this walking down the street at the dog park or something like that, I would just walk up and say, hey, I know this girl that can really help you and give them my card. Or write down my name and number and give them my name and number. Don't even say what you think you know. You can just say, I know someone who can help you. Check out her YouTube channel. Check out this doodle on her YouTube channel. Maybe they don't know. Maybe they're not sure. what's going on under the hair of their doodle. Maybe they just need to learn one time. Maybe they need to see a video so they can see how serious it is getting underneath the hair. Look how mad it is just is. These are solid pieces right here. Solid. Good girl, good girl. Good girl, Emma. Good girl. Whew. Doing so good. Good girl. Good girl. How do you feel right now? If this makes you sad, please write it down. If it makes you mad, please write it down. If it makes you really angry and you, it makes you want to teach somebody something, please write it in the live chat. How are you feeling right now?
Tina Silver, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, girl. This is a lot, you know. This is a lot, okay? You're doing so good. Good girl. I'm gonna bring this here like that and move your head that way. Make me do some squats. I'm standing on my knee right now. I'm a little too old for that. Good girl. You have it, girl. Get it. Get it. Get it, Dee Dee. Get it, girl. Good girl, Emma. Good girl, Emma. This is the most dangerous part you can groom is in the armpit. You can easily nick skin. If your armpits are matted, please get help. All right, let's rest. Down on my knees. Shh. It's okay, you gotta learn that with edge of the table right there, baby girl. Edge of the table, okay? Don't be doing that, okay? Don't be doing that. All right, don't be getting to the edge of that table now. Good girl. I'm gonna say good girl. Breathe. Good girl. Good girl. this is really cool to be able to watch this live right now please hit that like button subscribe and share check us out and subscribe on our TikTok social media if you think that's so cool that I'm letting you watch this as soon as it's happening please let me know please let me know I think that is so cool that I'm willing to do that this is live right now someone later on a month or two from now they're gonna say is it live right now <laughs> Check the date at the video. It's right next to the title of the video. Check the date. Some point we 
to change. Let me see. I wonder if I want to make you stand up now or later. Come and try to clean up this tummy. Thank you, Daiso, Daiosta, Danza. Thank you for the share. Ceramic blade, get one, man. You gotta try the ceramic blade if you haven't tried it yet. Big deal, man. It's still cool. Check out myfavoritegroomer.com. You can get all your tools there, everything I'm using. We bring her over here so you can watch on this side. Let me get you right up here real close. You like that? You like to be real close here? Like that? Smells really funky here, so we'll see what's up here in a second. Smells doesn't smell very good.
pushing that right there. I'm pushing that flush towards me. There's a pocket right there. Like walking on the hair, it makes you slip, slip and slide. Doing good, girlfriend. You're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you, girl. You're doing good. You hear me? You're doing so good. I'm so proud of you. I'm so, so proud of you, girl. You think I can come to your toes right now? Ooh, let's wait. Let's wait. Let's not get her pissed off before we have to get to the worst work. Switch our blade out. Thanks for joining us. Please be sure to hit that sub and comment in the live chat for me, would ya? Let me know where you're coming from, if this is affecting you, how you feel. Am I doing a good job? Is she doing a good job? Is she doing a good job? Yeah, baby. She's doing awesome. First time she's ever been groomed, a year and a half old, matted to the gill. I would say she deserves some purple hearts out there. Give me some purple hearts on the live chat. Come up. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good Emma. Good Emma. I know you're sh shaking right now. Hang in there, bro. Hang in there, girlfriend. Hang in there, baby girl. Hang in there. I know this is personal. It is personal up in there. I'm so sorry. Oh, man, it just makes my heart hurt, don't it? Purple hearts, baby. Purple hearts. Purple hearts and hit that like button. Shall we? Come over here to the feet, top feet. You trying to look for an escape? Hmm? You trying to look for an escape? You can't right now, girl. May I? Huh? 
Hook. Wanna go down? Go down. Go down. Lay down. You wanna lay down? Okay. I'm gonna lay down. I'm gonna lay down here. Good girl. You have it. Hup, hup. Hup, hup. Hup, hup. Emma. Emma. Let me see. Let me see. Emma. Emma. Good girl, Emma. Good girl, Emma. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Don't fight it. Don't, don't look at me like that. No, sir. No, ma'am. Releasing some gas, you know here. Get, you got gas. I I can smell. You got gas. Yes, you do. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I can smell. Don't poop in here, please. Try to hold your poop until you go outside, okay? Excuse me, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Easy peasy. Easy peasy, girl. Easy peasy. Good girl. I'm gonna give you a break right now. Put your foot down. Good girl. It's hard as a rock right here. Boom, boom. Emma, 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 look at me. You don't wanna look at me anymore? You're, oh, hi. I'm sorry I had to be the one to take all this off. I don't know why I gotta be the bad guy. I'm not the bad guy, you know? I'm not, it's not me. I didn't do it to you, honey. I didn't do it. I didn't even set you up for failure. I don't even know who you are. Like, I just met you, you know, trying to help you. You're even taller than my groom loop. You see what I'm saying? Thanks for looking at me. That really told me a lot right there. Well, you ain't mad at me, you know. She's not mad at me. All right. I'm going to give you a rest. Back over here. Oh, I see them purple hearts, baby. All right. Love them purple hearts. You gotta give it to me. You gotta give it to me, girl. You gotta let me have it.
get you to stand up. Dog up, Sam. Could she fit the XL? Probably. If you're going to get one, measure here. Make sure the size is what you need. Dogupstand.com, made in Texas. Matter of fact, we're picking up our next order of, actually, they're delivering them. Tomorrow, we're getting more XLs. We're almost out and largest. So if you want one, pick one up at dogupstand.com. American jobs, baby. American jobs. Size large. She's gonna help me stand up. That's gonna help me have her stand up while I work with her bow, okay? I can't show you guys this, but you'll find it in, on uh, the short section later. I don't know how she was pooping here. This is crazy back here. And it does look like there's dried worms in her coat. So dried worms looks like, yep, that's definitely what these are. Okay. So dried worms looks like I, uh, rice. So a dewormer. So see that little yellow thing right there? Do you see this yellow thing right there? Is that possible you could see that? That looks like a little baby dried up rice. That's worms. Usually that's the worms. When they poop, it's in their poop. You can squish their poop around with a plastic bag and look inside of it. You don't want another dog to eat or lick it, and she may be cleaning herself if she's even clean, able to clean herself and eating it. So really just treat for worms. Good girl. Good girl, Emma. See all these little dry, little rice looking things right here? All this right here? This is little, those little specks of yellow? That's dried worms. And the funky smell might be right here where she pees from. It might, it might be exposing that here in a second. So when, when this area looks like this, this is easily a 
a dog that could have a bladder infection. So if there's smell, uh, maroon, uh, leakage, peeing a lot, not peeing very much, all those are signs that maybe she should just go ahead and get a bladder check. You're going to go to the veterinarian, you're, they're going to get a urine test and test it. Because the pee is just hanging out here when she pees inside all this hair. So now that all this is going to be nice and fresh, now that this is nice and fresh, this she's going to maybe be like, oh wow, it's all exposed, I'm going to lick it a lot now. Don't let her sit there and lick it until it's raw. So this was all down there. This is how she's been peeing through this right here. She's been peeing through that. Doing good, girl. You're doing so good, girlfriend. Good, Emma. This blade is not working for me. You guys good up there?
crazy. That's a lot. Look, all up under her leg. Don't get mad at me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Let's see. Hold on. Hold on, Emma. Hold on. Let's see, please. Exhausting. We're getting into where I have to do your feet now, okay? But what I'm gonna do is let you go for a walk. Because you have a lot of gas and I wanna make sure you don't poop in case it's like big, crazy, crazy looking, crazy poop. So I'm gonna let you go outside for a quick walk, okay? Just in case, here you go, here you go. We're not done, but I'm gonna have you come back, okay? After you go for a quick walk, let's make sure you don't have to poop. Come on, come down this way. Come on, baby girl. Come on, let's go for a walk, come on. You guys doing out there? How's everyone feeling right now? All I can do is I can smell as if I had eaten something that some beans or something. In my room, it smells like someone ate some beans. You know what I mean? <laughs> Woo wee! Woo wee, mommy, mamacita. Mm mm mm. Let's see if she's. 
she has to go poop. When she gets back, we'll find out if she had to go poop. Woo! Gives me a couple minutes. I'm gonna sweep, wash my hands and sweep up real quick. Be right back.
tell you guys, she should be here any minute. Thank you for hanging out. Hit that like button for me. Thanks for shopping with me. Thanks for coming to myfavoritegroomer.com, checking out that. Sign up for the newsletter over there. Thanks for joining me on this live matted doodle grooming. I appreciate you so much. Woo-wee! Who's tired? Anybody tired like me? Cynthia says, I have clients, but that have golden doodles, they always say that they brush their dog, but they brush it wrong or with the wrong brush. I always have to shave them down. The story of our life, ain't that right? For real. It's constantly a battle with doodles, which is why I got two doodles to teach y'all what to do. 45 of you guys watching, we're waiting for her to get back from a walk. What's up? Okay. Thank you guys, you guys are good girl. Yeah, baby. Pookie Pooh, say hi, girlfriend. Hey. Y'all see, uh, what is this? Salt and pepper? The color salt and pepper, y'all were brindle, tan. Oh, we used to play with Madlib, thank you for writing that. Everyone, please smack that like button. Thank you, little chicka D. The show's love live and support for her and the job she loves to do. Thank you so much. I, I'd smack that like button as many times as I could if you two would let me. You can now on different devices. You hit the screen like TikTok. You can do the hearts now over and over. Brrr. Carlos, an eye for an eye, my dear. What's up? Cat Malone, I wish there was a love thumb instead of a like thumb. Tap the screen right here. That little heart. That little heart's right there depending on what device you have. You could do it just like TikTok now. Brrr. I have never seen a doodle this color either. Wow, what a lovely dog cat says. What's up? Bless her heart. She is scared. She will warm up to Dee Dee in a little bit. She sure did, didn't she? She came around. Grandma Shell missed a lot. I guess so. Emma is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Grandma Shell, you've missed so much too. Year old, too much. Year old doodle never been groomed. I love the way she talks to the dogs just like they were human. It makes me wonder sometimes if they really do understand us. I think they do even if it's our tone of voice. My dogs know exactly what I'm talking about. Everyone said, good girl. Yeah, baby. Do you need the pet parent to assist you with the grooming? Not at this time. Why does she need two cone heads? Because they're very loosely on and one can go flying as well as the second one. If you didn't notice, I'd hardly put the Velcro around the head. Cat, I tend to believe dogs understand a lot more than we give them credit for, which is why. Lois, thank you for being a member. I like to talk to them like they're human. She's doing really good, especially for her first time. Need those clippers, sunshine. Check me out at myfavoritegroomer.com. Order the five speed. Thank you, Pookie, for that moderation. Hello, Dee Dee and chat. What's up, Island girl? Okay, we're almost, she's doing pretty good for a first timer, huh? My Chihuahua and Shih Tzu were at the groomer today as we were leaving to go home. A medium-sized doodle came in. She was full of energy, but looked like brushed to my untamed, untamed, trained eye. I clipped what she said and sent it to you. Pookie, I clipped what she said and sent it to you. Doing great, gorgeous dog, poor baby. So what's up, MP? Thank you for being members and moderators out there. She should be on her second loop. I only told her to do two loops. Bunny said, what's up, Bunny? Thanks for being a member. Hi, Chet and Dee Dee. How is everybody? Emma's looking in the mirror, admiring how pretty she looks. Oh, my gosh. She was straight looking in the mirror. I'm good. How are you, Dee Dee? What's up, Bunny? Tapeworm does have rice-looking eggs. Look at that purple emoji. Bunny, oh no, tapeworms? That's a first for me. I'm surprised you don't have pet parent in the room with you helping you assist with the grooming. Why did I need that? What, what is it that had happened that I need her right now? Um, Jennifer McFadden, what's up? Plus one, Daiso says. What does plus one mean? <laughs> you know, ultimately it's my choice to if I need the pet owner. Sometimes bringing the pet owner changes the energy of the room and unfortunately since I run my own business I can do what I want to do as long as it's good for the dog and me and so if I'm moving and making stride me and that dog also need to communicate which is what I'm doing here today she's not being too much I might need to pull her in I almost thought about it when she was pulling and pulling and pulling but she only had two moments of pulling and me and her have to go through some stuff you can't always rescue your people, your kids, you can't always run and rescue them. Sometimes you need them to fall and stand up on their own so that they can stand up on their own for the rest of their life. So I hope that hits home with y'all. 
Sometimes you need to just chill. Have you ever hang out with the parent that runs after a, oh my God. And then you run, you hang out with the parent that's just like, baby, you're good. I think when you empower someone else and they stand up on their own and have the strength, they will be less codependent and less needy. This is her first time being in a groom salon. I'm going to let her go through some stuff with me before I have someone rescue her. And she's doing really good. So I don't know if you keep doubting my work here. I don't really like it. I will block your ass because I don't need someone telling me and doubting what I'm doing here. I've been doing it 20 years. I know what I'm doing. I know how to do it. And if you need help like this, if you need help like that, I'm going to help you. But don't come in here and try to tell me what to do. I'm really good at what I do or I would have injured a dog or two or a lot and I haven't. And I'm one of the only people in the world that will let you sit here and even come in here and help. So don't take that away from me. Value my, value my job, value the work, and value me letting you watch right here live on YouTube as I do my work. Let me work. What's up, uh, Annie? Hey. Thank you, Lois. Thank you for being a member. Should we start on your face now? Huh? You want to start on your face now? Oh, you're tall. Look at yourself in the mirror. Look at yourself in the mirror. What do you think about that? Should we go ahead and clean that up so we can get you looking a little beautified up here? Hi. Oh, you want to growl? Okay. You're up in my face. I'm going to watch, my, watch myself. She raised her lip at me. You get made my heart beat fast right there because I've been expecting you to raise your lip at me. Stay. 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 Here, here, can I do this? Can I do that? I don't like it. I don't like the energy shift just here.
this is going to be a tough one up here, this stuff. This is going to be really tough. Yes, it is. It's going to be really tough to do that. And see, what you got to do is you got to let me, let me help you. Help me, okay? Okay, you got to help me help you, okay? I got hair in my eye, I think. got going on here. Mm. Can I pet you? Mm. Mm. Exercise good, right? Yeah, that helped a little bit, didn't it? Loves looking at herself in the mirror. She's silly. She's silly. Okay. Let's see what's going on here. Can I? Would you stay up on the table? Is that possible? Mm -hmm. Street walking will help her as she watches me. She's kind of nervous and not liking certain things. Street walking will help her get through that. If you walk on the street, the motorcycles, the garage doors, and everything moving around, loud noises, stuff like that. This is going to be some tough stuff right here. If you don't want to watch, don't watch. This is extremely matted and very dangerous. Before your ears start looking like this, please get in, okay? Please get in before it's bad. What I might recommend is the ear cover. As soon as we, t see she's not shaking her head, right? As soon as we start removing these mats, you might find she flaps her ears and she'll flap her ears until they swell up. We don't want her to flap her ears until she swells off. Once these mats come off, the ear flap will be super thin and no hair. This whole carpet that's on it, keeping it warm, will be gone. If she's flapping her ears, you need to get an ear flap cover and brush her ears out every night as they grow. Don't let them continue to get matted. Here is such a thin flap. The ear is such a thin flap, and 
it's so heavy with all this hair, so I can't imagine like what that feels like, you know? So you'll see back here, you cannot even see where the skin is and the hair begins right here. Close your eyes. 
Come on, baby girl. My baby girl was doing that. I know she's sad. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, girl. I'm sorry. Good girl. That's one of the worst years I've ever seen in my life. Plus, I'm actually going to just put this here. Okay. Put that there. You can put your head there. I'm going to put, put this, put that there. You can put your head there. Go ahead. You can put your rest your head there.
Too bad, okay? Come here. Put your head here. So you don't have to hang it down, okay? You don't want to do it? You want to do that? Everything I'm using you can find at myfavoritegroomer.com. This is a 10 blade ceramic edge with my Andis 5 speed. Come on, baby girl. Come on here. Stay there. Stay there. So see how thin we're coming into the ear, how thin that is, and all this weight on there taken off. You can see why a dog is going to flap their head over and over when we get done. See how heavy that is? Can you tell me where the entire flap is? Ear number two. Wow, look at that girl. It's off. The sucker is off. Look. Ain't that something else? change a uh, blade. I'm going to go inside the ear and I want a cooler blade to do that. The ear itself is very sensitive so it's just like our ears you want to be really careful.
jumping yet. No jumping yet. You gotta do your pause and then go to the bath. No jumping yet. Okay, no jumping yet. Oh, you got a tail wag. Hey. Hey, you got a tail wag? That's what I'm talking about. You were not wagging your tail at all earlier. No, you weren't. No, you weren't, ma'am. No. Are you coming close to me? Hmm? Come here. Come here, good girl. Did you kiss me? Oh, my gosh. Did you just kiss me? Oh, my goodness. Hey. Hi. Can I come? Can you kiss? Kiss, kiss. Hi, Emma. Hi. Hi, baby girl. Can I touch you? Hi. Hi, Emma. Hi, Emma. Good girl. Did you burp? Oh, you know we like them burps. Yes, we do. Hi. Hi, what are you doing? Can you see? Can you finally see? Oh. Come close. Come close. Is you hanging off the table? Are you hanging off the table? Are you hanging off the table? You love looking in that mirror, huh? <laughs> you love looking in that mirror? Oh my goodness. You're looking in the mirror. Oh my goodness. Looking in the mirror. Ooh, you looking pretty. Are you looking pretty? Are you looking pretty now? Hmm? Are you looking pretty? Oh, are you perking up? You want to stand up? Yeah, yeah, I can see, you can see everything back there, girl. Yes, you can. Hi. Oh, really? Come close. You come close. Is that you in the mirror? Is that you in the mirror? to herself in the mirror.
Is she sitting up? She's up and happy? Proud, right? Did you just see her a few minutes ago? Drooping her head and miserable. Minutes. Her neck. That's your neck? That was your neck? Not anymore. Not anymore, girl. Not anymore. Let me take over that. Oh, you're so happy. You're so happy now. I have to do this, okay? I have to do this still. Oh my gosh, you're so cute. Emma, you got just a couple things to do that are really tough. Okay, here. Just one more time. Okay, one more time. Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. You gotta do this, okay? You got this. You got this, mamacita, okay? Here we go. I guess you guys want to look it down, don't you? You got it. You got this. You got this. Hold on, girlfriend. No, no. No, ma'am. You got no, ma'am. No, ma'am. You got this. Don't get mad at me, please. Don't get mad at me, please, okay? You got this, girl. Don't get mad, please. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Let me work all this out, all these mats. The worst place right here. Let me see. Up, 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 up. You got this, hey, Emma. You got this, girl. You got this, you got it. Licking the lips, right? Pain, that's pain. Pop, 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 right here. No, Emma, Emma, come on, girl. Come on, girl, one little bit, one little bit at a time, one little bit at a time. Let's see. Come on, girl, we got this. We got this, girl. Let's see what's up right here. You got this, girl, you got it. Let me get it out. I got you, I got you. Yes, I do, it's coming out. Don't get mad, please, please, please. No, 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 no. Don't get mad at me, please. Don't get mad, no, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, no. Emma, Emma, no, no, no. 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 Come up then. Stand up. Stand up then. Stand up. Stand up then. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Emma. Emma. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. Okay, up. Up. Here, this is too much space for you to bite me. No, you gotta stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come on, girl, you got this. You got this. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Up, 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 up. Is that good enough? Up.
Steady, Benny. Steady, Benny. Steady, Benny. Steady. Steady, Benny. Don't, don't. No, ma'am. Steady, Benny. Steady. No, 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 no. Almost done. Almost done. Almost done. Hold on. No. 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 Put your foot down. Put your foot down. Put your foot down. Good girl. Put your foot down. Steady. 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 Good girl. Good girl. Steady, Betty. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Stay. 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 Don't get mad at me, please. No, no. No, no. Look up. Look up. Look up. Look up. Look up. Steady. Steady. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Very good. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Wap, 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 wap. Don't look at me like that. Come here. Come here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Here, why don't you do that? Why don't you touch your head? Touch your head. Here, do this. Touch your head down there. Let me see this one. Touch your head. Touch your head. Don't do that. Don't bite me from the back now. Tuck your head. Tuck your head. Go back there. Tuck your head. Tuck your head. Tuck your head. Don't bite me. Don't bite me now. Hey, Emma. Emma, look at me. We're almost done. Okay? This whole head circulating thing, I don't know what you're trying to do. I'm trying to help you. I'm trying to figure it out. I can't figure it out. I don't know what you're trying to do. But we are almost done with the mats in between your paws. At least on the top. Okay? So we're almost done. Just bear with me a little longer. All right? And your, your new mom, she says she's had you, what, six months? If you're out there, mom, you can type it in the live chat. But she's had you six months or so. She now knows how this hurts. So she ain't going to let this happen again. Okay, but until I get it off, or we can't even step out of this room. Okay? Okay, you gotta let me do this. We're almost done. Alright? Okay, let's do this. Alright, come on, let's go. Let's go. Let me see. Let me see. We just had a talk now. Come on, girl. Emma. Emma. This is really hurting my hand. I need you to cooperate. Teach your dogs 
that are big to stand up. Do me a favor, teach them how to stand up. You gotta teach them that, man. It will really help them and the groomer. Okay? Wait, 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 wait. 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 Okay, put your foot down. Put your foot down. Put your foot down.
my 40 blade. 40 blades are awesome for pads, especially when you have cases like this where you need to kind of go as fast as you can. Can you stand up? Come on. Up. Up. Good girl. Good girl. Up. Good girl. ear canals are not that big but so much ear hair was in one ear so I was able to at least get my thumb in there you know
Left ear, ear hair, matted as well. Pull this out. Thank you, Pookie Puppy. Woohoo! Keep it coming. If you're happy with the live stream and the content you're watching, please consider a donation. Thank you, Pookie Puppy. Woohoo! Very, very dirty, and I don't like the color. It's maroon. Maroon's not a good color in the ear. Look that way, baby. Look that way. See this? See all that maroon stuff? And like this one? Maroon? Use all, all, just use the whole thing. Get a cotton swab, go back and forward here in this tiny area that my finger won't fit in. So that maroon, this, this is brown, this is dirt. Okay, that's just dirt. This is where my finger can't fit, which I would have skipped it because my finger don't fit there. So that's why I use a cotton swab to get it even closer in there. That's just dirt. Might as well use all this cotton ball for the other ear. Mm -hmm. Let me smell. And here we go. Move forward. Maroon as well. So if you this is what I would recommend for the client. You're gonna clean just like I am right now, twice a day, and you're gonna get this flushing fluid. You're gonna do that twice a day. I'm not gonna do that right now. I don't wanna charge anything extra without permission, but I am cleaning the ears extensively so that all this is gone and she just needs to clean twice a day just like I'm doing right now. And it'd be, it'd be wise to get that ear solution and start flushing twice a day. That's what I would do. In most cases, going into a veterinarian is about 175. That was 10 years ago, so I still say that 175 for an ear infection problem at the veterinarian. But every vet's different. You pay exam fees, solutions, them to flush the ear if they do that. You know, even if they do do that, sometimes I've heard that they don't. This one is not as bad as that other ear. So easily you're out a minimum of $200 on an ear problem. But yes, you're welcome to definitely go to the veterinarian for solutions and everything there as well. 
and they are veterinarians, so they will be able to prescribe you an antibiotic if you need one. Cotton swabs, I just got two. I'm going to go backwards in the crevices, and I'm going to go forward right here in this little lip right there. Go forward. Backwards and forward, and I still got stuff out. I still got that maroon color. If I missed it, I wouldn't have got it. Okay. There's a couple things around her face I want to do. So let me take a look at that real quick. Pull that lip back and trim that hair right there under her lip. Our straight ear shears. Look this way, baby. And hold that meat between your fingers and trim the hair past it. Trim your ear here. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good Emma. Good Emma. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl, Emma. Good girl. Good girl, Emma. I didn't have to do a nail trim. Her nails are all the way around or down to the vein on their own. go to the bath and I'm actually going to end it here. Um, oh my gosh. Emma!
Emma. Good girl. Good girl, Emma. Good girl. Good girl. Do you see that lip over there, huh? There's a little bit of stuff on the side on here. How many guys can see the standard poodle? Anybody else? See the standard poodle she has? to me and looked at the mirror. Who, did you see that? She totally looked at the mirror. Okay. Um, those of you guys riding, I appreciate you. And I want to wait, but I know you guys will leave. So I'm going to take her to the bath. We're going to get her all cleaned up. And she's going to go home. Thanks so much, everybody. I appreciate you. Um, I will read the chat. Well, I'm not going to have time to read the chat later. Love you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for your donations. Thanks for your memberships. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, subscribe, and share on your social media. We will hopefully see you again next time, and maybe she will come back. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night. Thank you, Bunny. Thank you so much. Woohoo! Joey got a membership by Bunny. How do you do that? That's so cool. Very cool. Thanks for your order, Joey. Hopefully you got it by now. All right. I do want to capture one thing here. I want to see when I let her go how she acts around the room. Okay. So let me just back this stuff up. And that's so nice of you. Jo but jo Bunny gifted Joey a membership. That is so cool. Okay. Come down. You want to come? Smelling stuff around? You're not hiding in the corner, are you? Are you hiding in the corner? Come here. Come here. Come here. Is that a tail wagon that I see? Huh? Come here. Hey. Hi. Is this your collar? Can I put that on you? Hi. How do you do? The mirror's gone. You can't see yourself no more.
you ready for a bath? Uh, oh, you weren't acting like this when you walked in. You want to give me a kiss, don't you? Can you give me a paw? Can you give me a paw? Come here. What? You love me already? You want to come up here? Come on, come up here. Come on. Can you come up here? Come up here. Come on. Come on. Can you come up here? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Emma, come on. Come on. Come up here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come on. Come here. Up. Up. Yep. Hi. 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 Look at you. Get your mommy right there. Oh, you wanted to come up here to look in the mirror. Ah, I see. Hi, Emma. You look great. You look so great. You look so pretty. You look so pretty now. How do you feel? How do you feel? You feel good? You feel good now? Were you trying to give me a kiss earlier? You, were, you came real close to my cheek. Were you trying to kiss me? Are you listening to me? Are you listening to me? You lit that to air condition? The air condition kicked on?
takes one session and she's already up, up, up. She wants to learn that. She's so smart, right? She wants to learn that up, up, you know. Just takes it. Whew. I mean, she's smart. It's just going to be like, um, I would do at the house, you know, to get load up in the car. So she'll load up on the, in the tub with a treat up and then down and then up and down and up and down and up and through the car and down and up and down and up and down. And up and down until like literally you open the door and she jumps up. Or if you don't want her to do that, she has to sit first and then jump up when you ask her to. It, it would take probably 20 minutes to teach her that. She's, she's definitely picked up on jumping up the table, you know, fast. But I would get her her own mirror. As a matter of fact, I would get her a big fat one with diamonds on it. I would give her like a mirror. She loves to look in the mirror. Come here, turn around. There you go. So you, you got you got just a couple more minutes that you can take check yourself out. Yeah, you pretty girl. You like looking in the mirror? To, you want to say any last minute words? Anything last that you feel like you want to share? Hmm? Anything? Are you pretty? Do you think that you look pretty? Oh my gosh. Every dog has their own characteristics, don't they? Every dog is so different from each other. No? Get your collar and leash here. Come on. Come here. You don't want to put this on? Come here. Yeah. Tell mommy to clean it, okay? So soak it in some detergent. Clean that baby up. I tightened it up too because it's super loose. Those of you guys who want to chit chat, I'll be right back with you.
guys hanging out. If you're still hanging out, there are 31 of you guys hanging out. Ooh wee, what's up? Thanks a lot for hanging out. How did you feel about that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. I mean, just what? I'm just gonna scoop you guys back here in the middle here and see what's up. What did you say? Can I get something to drink? I'm gonna get something to drink right here. How are you guys feeling? What do you think? What happened? What, what was the groom like watching it? What time is it? Five o'clock. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. 1.30? We started at 1.30? What time did we start? 1.30. Okay, we started at around um, almost 2 o'clock. 3, 4, 5. But we talked, so it was two and a half hours or so, right, you guys? About two and a half hours. <sighs> Facebook's got these things going on. Okay, I'm going to scroll back up here and try to catch up where I left off. Um, we'll wrap it up pretty quickly. And I gotta say that, oh, I'm going a mile a minute and I'm really tired, but, oh gosh, thanks Addie for saying I love your hair. Lois, hey, I love your philosophy about rescue versus empowerment. Take the ride, I think sometimes the pet parent needs to see exactly what is coming off the dog, how bad the hair mats really are. They don't need to help, but they just need to reality check. I honestly think she got the reality check. She was watching in the lobby. I want to know if she pooped outside. Me too. Dog owners are ultimately responsible for the behavior of their dogs. Yes, they are. Which is why when the city gets called in, the city tells us what to do with our pets and they may give us a ticket or put them down. Beverly says, loved watching you getting butterfly kisses yesterday. Me too. That was a blessing. Hi, Anne. Oh my gosh, he is more than slightly matted, okay? Daryl said, poor thing, masterful work though. Thank you so much for that. Good grief is right. Pookie Puppy's like, wow. Dawn says, very patient puppy. Emma's such a good girl. Lois, yes, she was. I can only imagine how cold their ears must feel after getting so much hair off. Cold and lightweight. You know, she didn't flap at all. Even in the lobby right now, she did not flap. Yes. She's like, where did my pillow go for real? Take the ride. I shaved my dog down and had not done her head, and she looked kind of like that. I didn't let her hair get that long, though. That's a lot of ear hair. Yes, it is. Emma's a year and a half. Thank you very much, everyone who answered her. Grandma D, all that hanging from the poor girl's face. She looks like she's got some great Dane in her, especially with that brindle coloring and size. Hmm, interesting. Okay. She's a beautiful pup, Bunny says. She looks like my pack, Standard Poodle Lab. She looks like a Standard Poodle for sure. But that color we do see on Australian Shepherds too, don't we? Take her to a Puppuccino after this. She did great once she got settled in. My daughter was a wolf -a doodle half a wolfhound, and half Standard Poodle. She is huge. Yeah, she doesn't look like the average doodle here. Hmm, interesting. I have a soft-coated Wheaton Terrier, female, 47 pounds. Okay, my husband seriously thought that was our dog. Really, Andrea? Do y'all think that she, she'll get bigger than she is now? She's a pretty tall puppers already. She is pretty tall, and I don't think she's going to get any bigger. She's a year and a half old, and I would say maybe she might gain some weight, but that's about it. I think that parrot, pet parrot will be surprised how thin their dog actually is. Does anyone know what this one weighs? 70, uh, 67 pounds. I just dewormed her. We have two Woodles, which is the soft-coated Wheaton Terrier Poodle Mix. I see. She feels so relieved. Absolutely. She became so vibrant and happy. Emma is so happy and grateful, Pookie Puppy says. She is saying thank you. When we went out there in the lobby like my do doodles do, she put her paws on her mom like this, and she almost did that to me on the floor. I was like, oh, and she's doing these things, and I could see her almost wanting to do that with me on the table. She will grow until she's two years old, so she's almost there. The tail wag was everything, but remember, tail wags are not always happiness. Wonderful to see her face. Yes, it was. She's saying thank you, Dee Dee. Thank you, everybody. Probably close to 90 to 100. She's 67 pounds. She's looking at herself like, I look gorgeous, darling. That's hilarious. Priceless. Feeling so nice. Proud. She just kept staring at herself in the mirror. Who is that good-looking girl? <laughs> the dogs say, no, I don't want to see that dirty hair. She would not want, she didn't want me to put that collar on. 
Bunny says, good girl. Did Dee Dee get rid of all the puppies? No, I did not. Pup Pookie Puppy says, one. That's right. Thank you. Laugh out loud. That is packed in his feet. Oh, getting in between her digits, hers, uh, she was not happy about that. But did you notice how she let me continue trimming after the mats were out of the digits? So the mats are super painful. Take a ride says, well, I'm not somebody else and I may not t talk exactly like somebody else does. Give me a break, please. I'm not really sure what all that happens. You wouldn't call it getting rid of. It don't matter, you guys. That's not a big deal. You're good, take a ride. I know, right? Take a ride, you're good. Life is a learning experience. I didn't mean to offend. No one here does, and if they are, we're going to block them, right? Nothing, don't take things too personal. Because I sometimes sound like a jerk, but I'm not. I'm straight up, direct, passionate, and I will give you the shirt off my back. Jason said, Jason and Danielle, what's up? Says, what's up, Dee Dee? I love all your videos. I'm a licensed cosmetologist. Come on, baby. I have had my license now going on 20 years next month. 20 years here, baby. And I was really thinking about becoming a groomer. I can't recommend it. Why don't you volunteer at a groom shop for at least six months and then decide. You're going to need to have some experience with dogs anyway, so why not try it? Six months volunteering or working as a bather and let me know if you want to do it. Okay, I'm, I'm scrolling back. I lost my place. I lost my place. Okay, there it is. I'm always afraid to shave between my dog's toes. I'm afraid I will cut her. So wear, wear gla like a, a light and really see what you're doing. If you can see what you're doing, how can you cut her, right? It is webby, so don't go in like, don't allow the web to go into the blade. So come at it a different way or come at it above higher. Put some light in your, get some lighting good, good lighting, okay? I think that is what bothers my labradoodle is the vibration of the clippers. So don't wait till they're matted to, sh to just trim with scissors. And if you trim with scissors and it's not matted between the digits, it will be easier to do. Because I graduate top in my cosmetology group, so I think I could possibly catch on pretty quick. But I know for sure that I would only want to do small, maybe medium sized dogs. I think dogs would be easier. People can be a pain. True. But you're still having to deal with the people when you groom their dog. I absolutely love the coloring of this dog. Thanks, Pookie Puppy. I love the color also. Is she going to bathe this dog? I did bathe the dog. Nothing like being a gymnast while grooming the puppy. Did you see me spreading my legs? I, that came out wrong. I didn't mean it like that. I think she said she would. Do y'all cut your own dog's toenails? I can't see the quick in my dog's nails, so I'm afraid to do it. So don't cut them, dremel them. No, nope, uh, mine have a nail appointment today. I think I would have named this dog Long Legs. I would not name, name my dog Long Legs. I maybe would say Spider. Or, um, what's that? What's the biggest dad, granddad, granddaddy? That spider that's really big. Long leg, long, shoot. I can't remember. I try to keep up on my two pugs nails because I can see the quick. I let the vet do the doodle and chewini as they have black nails. Dremel those babies. Yeah, that would be great. That would be fun. I wish we could share pictures of our dogs on here. You can't do that, but I think you can do it on my Facebook page. I dremel after they are cut. We need a location we can meet up and share our own dog pictures. Um, are you all going to come to Texas? If not, I'll try to make something up for you. Oh, yeah. What platform do you want it to be on? Vote below. I do, yes. Do you use the shears between the toes and on the pads? I do, it's sanitary on full body on my cavity. I made a lot of mistakes along the way, but thanks to Didi, I have gotten so much better. Thank you, Pookie. Dawn says, I have two bugs, a chewy, and a 90 pound Labradoodle. My dog does go good for the groomer, but not for me. I think I'm not strict enough. That may be well, but it's up to you if you want to turn into being strict enough or not. And take on the reins a little bit or just let your groomer do all the work. It's up to you. Exercise right before you do anything will help you and your dog have a better session. Dee Dee, you're going to need a massage after this. Thank you. I'm going to need sleep. Oh, Donna, Chewini, I don't think I've seen that kind of breed before. 90-pound Labradoodle, that's big. It is big. Yes, I use clippers in between toes and pads. Yes, I do cut my little Chihuahua's dog nails. I'm going to skip some of this. I'm going to skip some of y'all chit-chatting. 
Um, watch Dee Dee and you will learn a lot. Thank you, Grandma Shell. Tracy Bowden says, this dog seems so, so sad. I hope the owners understand the pain she's going through and make sure in the future they brush her and get her in grooming earlier next time. Does that powder that goes in the ear, does it help? That is so, no, it doesn't. That is just powder to grab the hair. It is not a numbing agent. Thank you, Pookie, for explaining it. Thank you, Dawn, for explaining it. I would not buy Vagisil cream for dog ears. I would not put ear powder in infected ears either. Take the Rye says, she looks like a completely different dog now. She did. She did look like a completely different dog. Dee Dee sells the best medicated ear cleaner, Malacetic Audit. Check her website. Thank you, Pookie. My favorite, groomer.com. Come check it out. Does she look like Noah? I don't think she needs to gain weight. I think she's perfect. I took a screenshot of the name and I will look at her site for it. Thank you, Take the Ride. You want to clean the ears and flush them. Don't just flush. You need to pull the ear hair out of the way or the flushing agent will not go down the ear. You do not need ear powder to pull ear hair out, but you will need ear powder to pull it out with your fingertips. You will need a hemostat. You can buy the ear cleaning kit. It comes with everything. Worked great on my dogs and saved me a trip to the vet. Exactly, Pookie Puppy. I also got the Malacetic for ears for what a difference, Grandma D. Exactly. It's a great item to have at your bathtub every time you bathe your dog. I personally like to flush my dog's ears with malacetic audit to prevent an ear infection. Milada says super lady and then what is malacetic? Joey says was gifted a membership. Awesome. Bunny, you're the sweetest. Thank you for doing that for Joey. Bye Pookie Puppy. Hope you have a great appointment with your pets. Take the Ride was gifted a membership by Bunny. Oh my gosh, Bunny, you, you gifted Take the Ride. What a sweetheart, Bunny. Mwah. Bunny, make sure I know who you are, and the next time you order, please remind me you did all that so I can throw in a special gift for you at MyFavoriteGroomer.com. Take the Ride says, uh, her demeanor is so proud now. She is so, she's so happy. She was so happy. Sweet girl probably wants the shorties washed off. I'll be here, Lois says. Hi, Dee, Dee Hello, everyone. Hey, Shimmy, coming in late. Good morning from Japan. Good morning. What a great watch today and yesterday, Shimmy. I just love how she was enthralled with her reflection. Me too. What a great story. Thanks for always teaching us. You are so, so welcome. I need a grooming table. Dawn, I've got those. Let me know which breed before you buy or get the 18-inch if you buy it for a small dog or the 36-inch for a dog like this. Unless you want an electric one that you want to spend more than $1,000, please let me know and I will pick one out specifically for you. Should be more specific, laugh out loud, a grooming table my Lumux of a doodle would fit on. If your dog will stand still, then a table 36 inches that does not move up and down will be fine. If you need an electric table for a doodle, let me know. Email me at dede underscore g-r-o-o-m-s at yahoo.com. This dog is not going to want to leave Dee Dee. Oh my god. <laughs> Bunny says she must feel relaxed now. It must spa day. Next, she will be watching YouTube Dee Dee on big screen. I hope so. My dog will walk into the shower for me. Anytime she gets wet, I say, do you want a towel dry? She gets so excited over the words towel dry. That's cute. Don, uh, Chimmy says, Don, Dee Dee sells a grooming table on her website. Thank you so much. And if you use Chimmy's code, I give Chimmy some commission. This dog is, lo is loving this attention, right? She got on the table over and over after she got feeling better. Chimmy, beat me to it, bunny. Better get on it. I didn't know the blue mat on top wasn't actually top of the table. Then you haven't been watching me long enough. I use this table since I started, um, well, no, five years into grooming. It took me, this was almost $5,000 at that time, and you can see why. It's, it's still going. They don't have this brand anymore. This brand closed their business. But if you need one like that, if you spend $5,000, it will last almost your career. Get, get the good stuff, not the cheap stuff, and in a 
grooming table that's electric, $1,000 is actually cheap. And I sell the mats. And um, you don't need a mat to groom, by the way. Don McGraw says, uh, Shimmy says, use Shimmy as a, thank you, Shimmy, good job, baby, she's got it down. If you use Shimmy's code, I give you a dollar off so I can monitor her code and I give her commission for the sale. Take the ride, that blue mat is a grooming mat. It makes the surface better for the dog. It's removable, best to be washed after each groom. Yes, ma'am. That's a good deal to be able to pay the grooming table and for payments, I thought it would be more expensive. Someone needs to make a lighted grooming mat so that you can clearly see under the dog. Nope, you don't want lights under the mats because when you're grooming a matted dog or a dog that's aggressive, when you look at a light, what happens? Imagine looking at a bright light and then trying to continue seeing the groomed dog. Nope, no lights under the dog. Look, it's a rescue cat. <laughs> Did you see him? Go check it out. Don't get the lighted table. Don't get the lighted grooming mat. Saw another, another lighted table for 1900 Not on my site, you didn't. You know why? I did that, done it, resold it, and never brought it back. It would be more affordable to buy a table from Didi and just put LED lights around the edge of it. If you guys are really serious, you're not groomers. If you ever looked at a light and then go to look at a toenail trim, you're not going to see the nail. Y'all should know what I'm talking about when you walk outside and look at the sun and then try to figure out, get to your car and you're blinking and you see this big round sun stuck in your eyeballs. Try grooming a dog at that moment. That was a great idea to exercise my dog before I start the grooming process. Thanks for that suggestion. You're welcome. That's a great idea. Okay, yes it is. What do I use to get rid of the yeast infection currently in her ears? It's really bad. I don't have 250 right now for a vet bill. Type in my favorite groomer ears and watch every single one of my hundred ear videos and watch exactly what I'm doing. It's the same every single time. And in that is my ear cleaning kit. Oh, I didn't think about lights triggering a dog on the table. No, it won't trigger the dog. It, you cannot see when you groom and look at a bright light. You will be blinded. Not a groomer, I know. That's why you guys watching me, baby. Oh gosh. That took us 20 minutes to go through that. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Have a great night. I've got other things I have to go do now, but I really appreciate your donations, your time, your love. Feel free to hit that like button, subscribe, and check us out at myfavoritegroomer.com. I can't do this without you, and I'm so glad you're here. I hope you enjoyed today's session. Have a good night. Good night, Cynthia and Margaret off of Facebook. Bye, y'all. Bye, Stephanie. Thanks for those purple hearts. Thank you, Brenda. 